Okay, email integration in HRS Pro V10. Um, pretty simply, we'll click on the diary and you'll notice that we have a drag and drop style diary here where we can add information, uh, test 101, whatever it might be, and you can color coordinate um, the, each diary event um, by simply clicking on the, the colors. These colors, of course, can also be linked to a particular consultant on a daily uh, or, or contractual view. So as you can see at the top, you have a list of my temps. If you had any temps running, obviously the dates of the temps and contractors will be sitting there. Um, and there's no records found. Uh, we've also got interview rooms that are set up and so forth. So let's go back to my week and I'll show you how this integrates with Outlook. So uh, well, let's actually do a reminder from, from the uh, home page. We'll set up a reminder which is uh, call John Re HRS Pro Demo. I'll copy this information and put it in the notes about this. Um, and then I'll click on the tab that says Send to Outlook. And I'll put it in for Friday and uh, at uh, 10 o'clock. And we'll end at 11. And I'll also set up a reminder the day before. So I'll set up the reminder for Thursday. Uh, maybe we'll set up the reminder for uh, one o'clock in the afternoon and then I'll save that file so basically my Outlook opens up instantly to populate the information of that um, particular uh, appointment or reminder and if I go to the calendar section you'll see I've got a reminder there set up for Friday uh, sorry a, a task in my diary set up for Friday let's come out of my Outlook and I'll go back to my diary within HRS which shows you I've got the call reminder there for, for HRS demo um, set up in my diary for Friday at 10 o'clock. So database has done two or three things just by clicking on one button to set up a diary integration. In terms of the email, we saw earlier the incoming email, how that's set up and how that automatically goes in literally by setting up your email account. If we go to a particular contact, which I've got one set up here, which is actually me, I'll click on the email button, which loads up my email template window I'll choose one of my uh, uh, template documents that I have, uh, letters that I've got here. It automatically writes some text. Now this is free text, so I can change it. I can make things uh, bold or or style it a little bit. So let's make that bold, um, and I'll make it red for just for purposes of this demo. So I've got a little bit of text there. Um, I'm just going to set it to go to my Outlook account using my personal email that I've just set up. So that will set up any iMapping that's already in the system ready to go. So here we are. We've got uh, the system system ready to go. All I need to do is either send it immediately, send it as a draft, which I put it in my draft, or I'll send it as a display. I'm going to send it as a display. My email automatically opens up with the information that I've written exactly as I wrote it, automatically attaching company documents that I've pre-defaulted to set, putting in the style text and my HTML style link signature, which is obviously a bit fancy. I've set it up just for this. And I can obviously send this email now, to my, um, which will obviously appear in my, my account. Once you finish, it automatically uh, pops up a little message saying, would you like to create a follow-up to do for that? If you say no, information closes. And in this particular record, which we've just done the email, you'll see a copy of that email sitting there, which you can then open up and read more information about. It's really that simple. So diary integration, email integration, um, all set up instantly within your database.